Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess. I'm having a little play around with my um, with my video this morning. I seem to be doing some sort of play thing with it today. I'm not quite sure. So I got halfway into a reading and then it decided to bug out. So I thought, well, I must have been meant to do that reading. So I'll come back and read for Scorpio. Must have been for you, Scorpio. Okay, so... Thank you for joining my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all the love you give me, comments, etc. I also want to say, remember, the readings are very, very general. They do flip-flop. They do have, even when I'm watching other people's videos, I think, oh, they're talking about, supposed to be talking about me and they're talking about the other person. Um, so always keep that in mind. I am using the Cosmic Tarot here. And I think I may have to discard my dressing gown this morning because I am feeling very warm, which is nice. Coming back from Queensland where the weather was really hot and it's quite cool here. So it's nice. It's a bit of a warmer day today. All right. Now I have the pack upside down. All right. Scorpio for the month of October. Oh. Very nice. We have the chariot coming out. So the chariot is the card that represents cancer. So you can be dealing with a cancer. Um, but it also talks about moving forward and the stars behind that. So it's like moving forward towards your dreams here. Very nice. Something that you're about to uncover. But I've got to say to you, we have a lot of cancer energy here. Um, and it is about love. Beautiful. So there's something here to be uncovered that's going to put you on the right path here. So the chariot talks about moving forward. It talks about finally going forward after a period of time of being stuck. The star says to me, you've done whatever healing you needed to do that was required of you um, to bring in what it is you need right now. There's something about to be uncovered here, which is about something to do with true love. I really want to go another card. Two of Pentacles. Some sort of balance has been attained here. Someone's found some sort of balance here. And they're about to, to express themselves to you. Something that maybe you didn't know with the moon. Could be revealing their love for you. Perhaps you didn't realise this person felt so strongly about you. Okay, let's have a little bit more. So here's your card, Scorpio. So we've got the death card coming straight in. This could mean you've been through a bit of a transformation yourself. And don't forget, because the reading's flip-flop, maybe it's you that wants to make an offer after not revealing your true feelings to someone. So very, very likely with that card there. Oh, two of cups. How beautiful is this? So there is definitely a love here. You've got a love reading. Um, definitely some sort of... Um, soulmate relationship I'll come back to that because I'm getting a few different messages here seven of pentacles here something that's taking a long time or has taken a long time to come around and now there's a decision here with the two of wands to take a different pathway something's changed greatly here Scorpio Either you've had a transformation that's made you th see things in a very, very different way or the person you're dealing with is coming back towards you and taking a path towards you because they now see you in a very different way. Okay, look at this. And a truth has to be revealed. That's why. And that's why the moon card's there. Beautiful. We do see the strength card. So this can mean that somebody has been doing work on themselves with this transformation has come to a realization here by sort of self-exploring and, and sort of raveling them in amongst their own self to find answers six of wands they want a victory here there is a victory all right nine of wands okay so that's about boundaries i feel like someone has i feel like this is second time around here I don't have a judgment card I feel like someone's either been in amongst something for a period of time and has not expressed themselves and somehow or another this has come apart um there's this nine of wands energy here which says to me someone may have put their foot down and may have put boundaries in place and the other person has either not liked the boundaries or moved away that's what it feels like Six of Pentacles, yep, yeah, there was no equal give and take in this relationship. 
and Seven of Swords coming out. So maybe a feeling here that somebody wasn't saying what they wanted to say, especially with the Ace of Swords here, and they've ignored their own feelings. And now they've had some sort of major recognition that they should have spoken up and said something. So we have the Chariot, the Star, the Moon, and the Ace of Cups, um, which says to me that somebody wants to come forward after realising or understanding that they've got feelings for someone. They've recognised here that this person is a soulmate. Maybe after doing some soul-searching, um, they could have been going through life and, you know, being with other people, but not really uh, not really bonding like they did with the person that's coming up here. And I feel that for some unknown reason, there's been some sort of realisation here and they've taken a long time to get to this realisation of how they feel. But now they want to do something. Now, you could have been together previously and something didn't work out because somebody put boundaries in place and somebody didn't like those boundaries or it could have been that this person had expectations that weren't fulfilled or vice versa but at the end of the day the whole issue here was that somebody was feeling feelings and not expressing them and when you feel something for someone or you have upset about something the other person can feel that but they may interpret it as being dishonest or well, you know what, if you're not telling the truth, even if you're not lying, you can still be seen as being dishonest. And that's what it comes up here. So I feel like someone was withholding and because they were withholding from you, you felt like they weren't being truthful. And there's a, definitely a victory to be had here and a, a beautiful relationship, one of give and take. Somebody's coming back in to offer this with the truth. So the truth could be an apology, but it could also be an, an unveiling of feelings. Just pull an oracle card for you here, if one wants to come out. <laughs> I have the card of the fates coming out for you here. What number is that? 17. Okay, just reading the oracle message. The serenity prayer sums up the meaning of this card. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. There are things in life you will never have control over. The conditions brought on by the evolution of the collective, by nature and by your past experiences may be fated. Preordained by spirit for a greater purpose you cannot understand in this lifetime. It may not be in your cards to understand why certain events occurred, but you can accept the mystery and work with those events and your current circumstances have to teach you. This is the wisdom contained in the serenity prayer. So I think something happened in the past here, but it couldn't go through at the time it was because think people needed to change. There needed to be changes made. So I think the universe has given you a little bit of a introduction to somebody or something and then has moved you along in order for you to change. So it's like you've um, been the catalyst for a change in someone else or vice versa. But that's your reading, Scorpio. Have a great month. Thanks.